So the first two books of my Back to School series are, there's a Mouse About the House and a Squirrel's Tale. These two books are interactive books for your little toddler. Actually, they can go up to older than that because everybody likes these. The little mouse comes, up, comes off of the book and goes in and out of the pages through holes, trees, different places. Come with me through the house for an exciting nighttime adventure, follow the dotted line, and please come with me through the woods and help me to find my nuts, follow the dotted line. I think these are, would be fantastic for the adventures that we take our kids on, the nature adventures where we go for walks through the woods or through the yard to find different things. I think it'd be a great introduction for that. Next I have books for the just about ready child to go to school. And this little case I thought was really super cool. Get ready for school, wipe clean activity pack. You open it up after you carry it around. And inside, there are four books. Um, one of them has the wipe clean marker, works for all of them, or you can substitute it if you need to, or maybe get a different color. Wipe clean alphabet, wipe clean one, two, three, wipe clean first letters, and wipe clean ready for writing. These are handy, they can travel with you, and you can use them over and over again. Fantastic. Next we have two books that are still for the younger child, but they have a science base. So we have Flowers That Grow and Your Body. Both have glossaries at the back and websites to visit so that you can get more information. Love these books. Don't forget the sticker books. We have a lot of them. Today I'm featuring the first sticker book of ballet, which shows the different positions that a ball ballerina needs. Build a picture trucks and build a picture trains, trucks, and tractors. In the build a picture sticker books, you actually build a story, which is another great thing for school. Activity books aren't the only way to reach the hands-on learner. We also have adventure kits. This one is a shark excavation adventure kit. It includes a book about sharks, also the digging tools to excavate a shark skeleton, brush, and eye goggles. This is a really great way to study biology, sharks in general, and just give your, your children a fun way to learn. So for the last section in the Back to School series, I'm going to show you some books that are for the older kids. We have Extreme Adventure series and a series by Wendy Harmer. The first one is I Lost My Mobile at the Mall. These books are for reading pleasure and reading fluency. In the science area, we have a freshly updated Encyclopedia of Science. This book includes all the areas of science and is perfect to keep on your shelf so that you can look things up, write reports, do all those school things. For a little more fun, improve your survival skills. This is actually pretty good as far as preparing for disasters, talking about disasters with your kids, even things like extreme cold. It's a pretty excellent book and it's kind of thin, so it doesn't look like something that's gonna be a difficult thing for your readers who you know, don't wanna tackle the big stuff. I saved the best for last. This is my very favorite. Write your own adventure stories. Sometimes kids have a hard time thinking of the story or writing what they're supposed to. In this book, you write in the story book that gives you plot, how to do a setting, words that you might want for a spy story. It's an awesome book and kids are gonna love it.